Hi guys, welcome to the second video of the Auto Remix Challenge. Today we are finally gonna announce the winners. I bet many of you are very anxious about the results. But first, I would like to appreciate to all the auto builders that upload their designs. Uh, all of them were very amazing. We see all kinds of things that we didn't even imagine. And that's why we made this challenge. So let's have a quick view of all of them. So first we had Quad. Quad is actually some sort of a spider. It has like, but it has four legs. It's a, actually a combination of two open source projects. And you can see how amazing it looks. I mean, having like four big legs to, to move around, it can even move outdoors. So this is actually a very promising entry. Then we have like Rover. Rover is actually also a combination of two open source projects, which is like a Smart and Auto, of course. And it has basically these tank tracks that allows him to move also in different terrains. And it's pretty cool because it's like uh, a new way to move around with an auto, not only with legs, right? And then we also see auto with wheels. All of these three are actually from the same creator, which is pretty cool, right? Jason supported us from the beginning uh, uh, of the project and he has been uploading this. And these are great, great, great entries for this challenge. Then we start to see very funny entries like Philabot. Philabot is basically a spool of a 3D printer made into auto. So like you can see like this spool that you use to like uh, have your materials and put it in your printer and you just have two legs and it can walk around. And even has an LED mount to express emotions. We also see like a, a auto like punk, so which is pretty cool. It's a way of like just having the same base of auto and just trying to create new characters. We have Bender, which is a great example also of having like different characters based on the same shape of Otto. And it has also the arms, so for the fans of Futurama, this is something pretty cool that you should print out. We have Plastic, which is like a teapot with legs, which is again very funny. And I know many people like this one uh, from the beginning. We have then like some Halloween costumes, so for that one we have Evil and Grim, the Reaper. And uh, it's like actually two separate entries, but we put them together like to show you what they do. Uh, we also have like two minions, two minions like, like from the movie, you know, many people is familiar with them. But so we have one that is very literal, like the shape of like the minions, cylindrical and everything. And we have one that is more like cubical, like also, but both of them are great. Then we have from the same creator of above, we have like, a, which was the first open source uh, Viper robot, which actually Otto got inspired. So the creator appeared and now he is also in this remix challenge and he made this interesting uh, bob with arms basically. So then we started to see a lot of cute projects like uh, this Otto marriage. Basically, a guy created a bride and a groom version of Otto and even made a video of the ceremony. It's very fun. If you want to see the complete ceremony, you can check the video in the links. So the next project is Icy Bob. Icy Bob might look very simple by the first sight, but actually the good thing about this entry is that it has a power bank. So it has a power bank instead of batteries that you can use to power your auto. And in this way, you don't need to spend money on alcohol and batteries. The next entry, a very, very interesting one. It's Auto Turtle. Basically, it's also the combination of two open source projects, I believe. But the cool thing about this one is that it makes auto draw. It has also two wheels and you can draw very precisely. As you can see in the presentation video that um, the designer made, uh, it's like very, very accurate. And he even designed his own PCB. So he has a very good documentation and all the details are in the links. Then we have a very funny one again, it's Otto Chaplin. So I guess all of you know the comedian, right? And apart from the very nice presentation of the video, what is impressive about this, about like all the details that make him similar to Chaplin, is that it was made by a 10 years old. And it has a very good documentation of all the process if you don't believe that it was made by a 10 years old. So this one is also worth to check it out and I believe it can inspire more kids into designing their own robots. 
from Prusa Lab. If you all might know, I mean, like Prusa printers, right? So like they have a lab and they made a offline event of uh, of remixing your own auto, and it was pretty cool what they presented. They made this auto that can rotate the head, you know. Uh, it was something that many people were like telling about like oh auto should rotate the head but finally somebody made it so it's pretty cool also some anti-slip shoes which sometimes you need if you want to make auto walk more smooth so like you printing a special material and you have these shoes that make auto walk even faster then they also made an interesting auto with a security camera and on top of wheels which uh, it looks like a lot of things together but it's also quite interesting that you can use auto for further like functionalities like recording, right? Then we saw Bob 303, which also might look just like another auto made of wood, but with more articulated legs. But what is inside is very interesting. It has a Raspberry Pi. It's a board with much more power than a than Arduino. Many of you might be familiar also with Raspberry Pi. You can make a computer and you can make much more advanced things. So I hope actually this project continues to see how it actually evolves. Then we had this auto that has an interesting way to quickly assemble the ultrasound sensor, which might seem like something simple, like a simple design, but maybe it can save a lot of like trouble when assembling. We have Zeus. Zeus, it, it might look just like the head of Otto, but it, it can move the mouth. And you can also have these LED expressions, which are very interesting, similar to the... Towards the end of the challenge, we started to see even more amazing entrances. So we saw this very creative Otto Alpaca. So it's like if you combine two autos to have four legs, and then you have an alpaca as the head. Very, very creative. Then we have this auto like Baymax. If you are familiar with the character of Big Hero 6, the movie, and you see like how it reassembles pretty well. And the very cool thing about this one is that it has an, its own app, and you can control it by voice commands. So sure, something to check it out. Then we see auto made of balsa, which is a very cool approach to use different materials. You don't necessarily have to stick with the same plastic, with the same PLA that you use in the 3D printer. You can use wood and other like creative materials. So this is a very interesting, even like upcycling way to, to make auto. We also see one made of wood with laser cut technology. And what is interesting about this one, because we already actually have one like that, is that it uses an Arduino Uno instead of the Nano that we use. Arduino Uno is a much more common board. So more people can make it and replicate it. Then we have like Lego, Auto with Lego, which is a must to do. I mean, I was expecting somebody to make Auto of Legos, which is something that anybody have like at home, I guess. Another very funny, almost uh, at the end of the challenge, it was this Auto Dino. So it's basically a dinosaur version of Auto. The same creator of the alpaca made this one, which makes sense. It looks very cute. Then we have this, uh, also at the end of the challenge, the last one is the auto droid. So like if you are a fan of Star Wars, you may recognize this droid from the movies. So basically, as we saw in other entries, when you combine two different things into auto, uh, great remixes appear. And it's a good and very creative way to like make new characters using auto. So here we are just having a very quick and fast view of all the entries. Of course, if you want to check the details, the files, or even more videos and pictures about them, just check in the link in the description and you will find out all of them. So we had a total of 37 entries. We are very happy and surprised by the quality and diversity of all of them. Without further talk, let's go to the winners, the moment that everybody was waiting for. If you check the, the video before, we had actually four prizes. So the third place, the second place, the winner and the most like one by the Facebook fans. So who is the third place? The third place goes to a very funny auto that was made by a 10 years old kid. Yes, Otto Chaplin.
but the creator Telmon is gonna receive this amazing builder kit. For the second place we have then this builder kit plus. So the winner of this builder kit plus is Otto Baymax. So we awarded Otto Baymax because he has like this full documentation, very detailed, and he created an additional app that they can control Otto with voice commands. So who is the winner of this amazing Maker Kit Humanoid? So this color one goes for the most liked by the community. That by the way, we also like it a lot. So we were even thinking that it could have been one of the winners. Uh, this one, it goes to Alpaca. Alpaca was a, one of the most creative remixes we have ever seen because it, com it really get out of the box. So it didn't limit it to the dimensions of Otto, but expanded the possibilities of making basically any animal out of Otto. So who is the winner of this amazing DIY 3D printer? Very portable, lightweight, and you can use it to print at least one or two autos. Well, this one goes to an entry that have a very good documentation, which was the most important thing in the challenge. I mean, we wanted to promote like what is to document an open source project. And this one, it was very remarkable because like through the challenge, it continued updating and improving. And that's something that we saw very good uh, since it promotes this uh, constantly documentation, which is very important for any open source project. We also saw like the functionality was very good and it can be expanded into more uh, autos with uh, a lots of educational uh, functionalities or it can be used in classrooms. So the winner of this Auto Remix Challenge is Turtle. So Turtle, it now made Auto able to draw, which is something that we didn't even think about it. And it made his own PCV and code, so it combines electronics, uh, hardware, and software. So like um, all of that together into a very good documentation and presentation made this one the winner. We hope that the winners or the participants that didn't win continue developing their projects. We are gonna continue encouraging this type of challenges so like more members of the community can get amazing kits or just like have fun designing their own autos. We are gonna help them uh, creating documentation of how to design your own robot. So stay tuned and subscribe to anything that we have in social media because we will be releasing new guides and new instructions that will help creativity. We also wanted to uh, have some bonus prizes actually. So we have a bonus prize for a, a very special uh, auto builder that have been contributing from the beginning. He even participated in this challenge with three Amexis entries. They didn't manage to win by, by score, but they are really good. And we think that it deserves to have a bonus prize. The bonus prize is gonna be an Auto Builder Ice, our new, our new kit, and a t-shirt. So that one goes to Jason. Jason is gonna receive this because he has been a, a great contributor of the community from the beginning and and we think it's it deserves to, to be awarded also in this challenge. So again, if you miss this challenge, don't worry. Join the community, start to create your own ideas, even upload them into Wikifactory, which we will be keeping an eye on them constantly and maybe reward them even without any notice because we really want to like encourage creativity in our community. Now, I want to give thanks to Wikifactory, especially because they help us to host this and even make the production of this video. Uh, I also want to thank, of course, the judges, because without them we couldn't have like, have like a proper evaluation of all the entries. I want to thank, of course, all the entries again, all the participants, all the community, and all the people that somehow helped to make this uh, challenge come alive. So to end, please let us know if you have any ideas for future challenges, ideas for future robots, for future autos, remix that you would like to, to make, and maybe you don't have the skills, so maybe we as a community can make them together. Uh, let us know in the comments 
if like we could improve in the next challenges somehow and just join the community and thanks thanks for watching bye